Hey there guys and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today I have my fingers crossed and I'm hoping that we are going to finish this theme right here. Unless something strange happens and I don't know. But uh, let's just give it our best shot. What I want to start off with is finishing up this sidebar and then finishing up this content here and then do a footer and we should be pretty much done. So let's start off with centering this title. I'm going to grab these two layers, which is the logo and the title, and I'm going to drag them over. Alright, let's just slide it over a little bit more if it wants to move. Um, something like that. That's probably good enough. Uh, let's grab the whole entire back, uh, background and slide it up just a little bit so it's a little more snug in there. <clears throat> something like that. That looks good enough. And then one last thing I wanted to do is on this left side, I wanted to delete one row of text because it looks just way too crowded and too much for people to uh, to read. They're going to probably close your website and be like, ah, my eyes. So let's uh, grab this bottom row and uh, this clock, and I'm just going to delete it. Lovely. All right, so you can grab this content folder, and I'm going to uh, center it with this sidebar which probably isn't really too necessary but um, I'm going to do it anyways and then we can grab the content and the Twitter feed and I'm going to drag them up just so they're closer to that top to this top box and then zoom out and let's center this with the entire background just uh, something that looks pretty good like that alright so that's looking very nice to me I don't know how it is to you um, something I wanted to fix was these buttons up here. This yellow has been bothering me. And I want to change that to an orange, which is like this fire orange, and it'll, it'll match better. So let's go to that directions button, double click the uh, color layer, and I'm going to just sample it from that orange. And that looks much nicer. Let me make sure this font is white. Yes, it is. And let's make sure this one is white as well. Um, it is. Alright, so, um, hold on, let me check the color overlay just to make sure, just to double check. And it was slightly green, I thought it might have been. Alright, so let's check this one as well. Alright, just wanted to make sure it's, they're both white, and we don't run into problems later when, uh, if we code this, possibly. Um, let's change this these, uh, this title. Not sure where that accent came from. Let's grab this title, and we're going to make it slightly uh, slightly brighter. Let's go with um, 3B, 3B. So let's copy that, and then select the next title, paste it in. Same thing with this title as well. and paste that in. Okay, so now that we have all that, let's create us a footer. I'm going to go to, go to the top of our folders, create a new layer, and turn on my rulers, which I used uh, command and apostrophe, not apostrophe, semicolon, and that popped, op popped open my rulers. So right here, I'm going to type in our navigation, the our navigation pages which is home and I'm going to go one two three four five and then pricing one two three four five about us two three four five our story and blog oops and then account uh, contact us and then underneath that I'm going to click enter twice I'm going to type in copyright and then option G and that's alt G for you Windows people and that's gonna pop open this uh, copyright sign and we we'll go 2010 and we'll call this dog paw productions that works and I'm gonna change this font size to 11 and this one to 13 let's try Close out of that and let's zoom into 100% and let's make these both not bold, just regular. Looks good. Alright, I'm going to drag this down 
And I was kind of toying with the idea of adding a background for this footer, but it made the entire website look a little too heavy because it, uh, the way I see this is that it's heavy on top with that solid blue, gets a little bit lighter with this gray, even lighter since there's only this blue. So this footer, footer shouldn't be heavy. It should be pretty light. So what I'm going to do is create, um, I'm going to grab my pencil tool and just create a uh, heavy line. And I'm going to add, have it at about four pixels. That should be fine. And let's sample this blue. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm just going to just going to drag a solid line out. Bring it down. All right. And I'm going to lower the opacity just so it's slightly there. Just to add a little bit of color for the footer. Zoom out. And I'm liking the way that looks. So let's double click this background layer and then do command T to scale it and I'm going to scale it up just underneath that uh, the foot or something like that just to clean this up then I'm going to go to image trim uncheck everything except for bottom and it's going to trim away these transparent pixels zoom in and that's looking good let me see if there's anything else that we need to change and I don't think there is um, I think that's going to finish it for this template. Um, I can't really think of too much else. Well, we can give a uh, rollover state for one of these just so we know what it's going to look like. So let's select that and let's maybe go to a light blue. Something like this. And then let's give it an underline. Okay. So that's good for a hover state. We don't even need the underline. We'll see. Uh, you can always take a look once you start coding it. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. And I'll make you a deal. If you can get uh, 15 people to comment below, it doesn't matter what they say. They can say, you suck, Steven. And it could be your grandma that posted it. I don't care. Just get 15 people to post something. And I will create a tutorial on how to code this website up. So uh, this lies in your hands. If you can get 15 people to comment, you get some sweet new tuto uh, tutorials. So I'll wait and see what happens. Once again, thank you for watching. And remember to uh, thumbs up me or thumbs down. I won't like you if you do. And thanks for watching. And see you next time.